Yes. Hello there. Can I do something for you? Not exactly a happy homecoming festival, huh? Sorry. I saw the look on your face when I arrived. I didn't realize you'd come from a village like this. I thought life on a farm was tough, but the stories I'd heard about villages bordering the mare... I guess I never really thought about where you came from. Not really. I thought heroes... well, started in great sweeping castles. Not like this. You left to save your village? I'm impressed. Well, even if you did ruin my whole life by doing so. Still, you did what you did for the right reasons. Don't blame yourself. You know, if you do. I suppose so. But I doubt it. Don't let it go to your head or anything, but you'd be a tough pair of boots to fit into. Something you want? You follow me, okay? Something you want? Oh, yes! I'm still sorry about West Harbor. Are you alright? I know we talked a little, but I just walked around thinking about what would have happened if Highcliffe was suddenly destroyed like that. Just gone. I mean, Junie, William, and even Elder Maine. If they were all suddenly snuffed out, like they'd never been. I guess you're right. It makes me wonder how much damage we're causing just by walking around. You're right. You did save Highcliff after all, and it didn't take an army to do it. Yeah? Something wrong? Well, aside from the frequent kidnapping, yes, I suppose I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. But don't worry. I'll try to keep up. So don't trouble yourself, all right? All right. I mean, I know I haven't been around you as much as, say, Kelgar Idiot Fist. Hey! Calm down. Monks aren't supposed to get sensitive about things like that. Well, Iron Fist monks are. We have our pride. I think I need you to explain to me one more time what we're doing. We're being hunted and accused, put on trial, and... and you've got silver things in you. Shards. Yeah, shards. I got it, Sand. Thanks. I derive pleasure from clarification, Miss Jero. Anyway, with all that's been going on, I'm not sure I understand why it's been going on. Well, first off, the shards in you. Sorry, the shard in you and the shards you carry. Where do they come from? What are they shards of? No, it is the Sword of Gith. The weapon that united and divided the Githzerai and the Githyanki. Okay, see, that's where you start to lose me. Why is this thing inside you? And why is it broken? And what are you supposed to do with it? Kill a dragon or... And the King of Shadows is who? Like Elminster, except evil? Like a golem? All right, go on and ask. Yeah, I was. I mean, if you died, I'd lose my teacher. Then where would I be? Well, it's no big deal. I wasn't looking out for you or anything. I was just thinking about it a lot and worrying. Anyway, just forget I said anything and remind me not to say anything in front of Grobnar again. All right, go on and ask. There's not much to tell. To be honest, my mother died many years ago. Bad marsh fever. Not much I could do. As for my father, well... I didn't really know him. Died when I was very young. He's more like a blur than a memory. What about you? I mean, if you want to talk about it. Yeah, I mean, if you want to talk about it. I mean, your father or your uncle, he seems very nice. He was? He looked like he'd been a tavern keeper for, well, forever. Huh. 
He seems so down to earth to be an adventurer. No offense. Thanks for sharing that, by the way. You didn't have to. But knowing you actually have family and knowing what they do, well, that's important, I think. Distant? Why? Well, you might want to ask why you still have the chance. He may have his reasons, and if he were to pass away suddenly, you'd never know. Doesn't your father know anything about her? It seems like he would. What does Dagon say about your mother? Did he know her? Well, you might want to ask why you still have the chance. He may have his reasons, and if he were to pass away suddenly, you'd never know.